Hey everybody, Planet Aquarium MN bringing you an update on the Planet 75. I picked up some new Pogo Stamon Hellfry. I also picked up some discus for the 120, so hold tight and we'll get to those in a minute. But there's some uh, new stems of Pogo Stamon Hellfry uh, Downoy. Picked up three new stems of that. Needs a little TLC. It was in the postal service for the past few days, so it wants a little bit of light, some furt, some CO2. But give it another week and it's going to look just as good as the uh, other crowns that I have of it to the left there. Um, it's going to rebound in just a few days without any problems, so I'm not worried about that. The ranunculus is looking really good. I'm getting a bunch of new growth on that. I've got a bunch of new nodes coming out of that now. So that has just taken off since I got it out into full light. A little bit of dwarf baby tears hanging on. I'm going to pick up some pots and grow a carpet there eventually. A couple little strands of glosso still hanging out in the tank. My Blixa japonica needs a haircut. I trim this stuff out, uh, you know, trim it up quite a bit, and it just explodes constantly, doing really good. The uh, Ludwigia inclinata cuba is doing good as always. I mean, look at this stem. Nice golden yellow, orange color on the very tips. Looks gorgeous. The uh, Hygrophila polysperma sunset. The tips are nice and red and pink. Uh, nice bright white veining on the leaves. Uh, clear indication, very healthy, uh, very happy plant. This Limnophila aromatica, the bottom side of these leaves when it gets towards the light, just turns a really bright purple. Look at that violet color on the bottom side of these uh, leaves of this Limnophila aromatica. Just a gorgeous plant. Can't get any better looking than that as far as I'm concerned in the aquarium. Nice bright purple. But uh, Overall, this tank is doing really good. It's amazingly healthy right now, very well balanced. Uh, the CO2, the lights are dialed in great. Tomorrow's maintenance day, 50% water change. Do a little trimming, uh, clean things up a little bit, but doing really good. No more hair algae in the uh, Taiwan moss on the na Manzanita branch. Everything's really healthy. I'm really happy. But anyways, we're going to switch gears over to the 120 discus tank. And I got a couple discus in this tank finally, so I'm really excited about it. Now, normally I have my lights off when I acclimate fish. And I just have my lights on just to show you guys these fish and also to demonstrate the Phoenix Monster Ray. Right now I just have the Ray 2s on here. Here's two red pigeon bloods, about three and a half inch uh, size fish. Boom, turn on that Monster Ray color enhancing LED and look at the colors on those things just pop. There I turn it off, they look washed out and that's what they look like in most people's aquarium. Boom, turn that Phoenix Monster Ray on. Look at those colors just explode. The red, the blue, everything, it just explodes in color. That's why I got that Phoenix Monster Ray, for exactly that reason. I want to see my fish at their best. Given the amount of money we spend on our tanks, given the amount of money that these discus cost, why not have them look their best? And that is going to be done with the Phoenix Monster Ray color enhancing LED. But these are uh, two, three and a half inch, uh, anywhere from three, three and a quarter to three and a half inch uh, red pigeon bloods. Not my favorite uh, color discus just because of the black peppering, uh, but when I saw them at the local fish store, I had to pick them up. They're healthy their eyes, their fins, everything great. The filter, uh, filter on this system, this wet, dry, freshwater refugium on this 120 tank, it's doing an incredible job. I am so happy with this filter system. I have not seen a single trace of nitrite, ammonia, or nitrate. The uh, freshwater refugium is just soaking up the nitrates. Uh, I've got some hornwort, some polysperma sunset in there, but it's working as planned. This thing is soaking up any little bit of nitrate that's coming into this tank, but Again, you know, I pre-cycled this tank, or not pre-cycled, but I put some pre-cycled biological material in it, so it was uh, filtered and cycled rather quickly. Plus, I added a few roseline barbs in here, roseline sharks, denison barbs, call them what you want, uh, to keep that biological filter fed. But anyways, the uh, tank's looking real good. The filter's doing great. But look at these fish, uh, these red pigeon bloods. Again, a couple three-and-a-half-inch red pigeon bloods. Um, they're just doing, you know, they just look incredible under this Phoenix Monster Ray. But anyways, I'm going to get the lights off. I'm going to finish acclimating these fish, let them out, let them calm down. Once I have these fish out, I'll pop the Monster Ray back on. We'll take another vid or we'll follow, uh, follow up and finish this vid. So um, don't go anywhere. All right, there we go. We got the uh, fish are acclimated. They've been let out. Look at the colors on those fish. Right now, I just have that Phoenix Monster Ray on. Again, these are two three and a half inch red pigeon blood discus. And just look at those colors, just the blues and those reds. And these fish just look amazing with that uh, Monster Ray. But just look at those fish. Again, I'm not a big fan of pigeon bloods, but I think these two here have just changed my mind. They look absolutely gorgeous. So I'm real excited to have them. Uh, I can't wait to uh, grow them out in this tank. I got some cobalt blues coming in on Tuesday. But uh, anyways, I'm going to let everybody go. I appreciate you watching. Check back next week for an update when I add my cobalt blues. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. We'll catch you guys later.